back in the fall of 1980, uh, a few of us who were considered educational leaders in the county were brought together by the administrator of the Buck Trust. And we were asked to visualize and create a structure by which money could flow for the purpose of college education. I've known Judy since seventh grade. We've been married for 65 years. Education for her has been really one of the main thrusts of her life. When uh, Judy was on the college board and she was chairman of it, she was asked to um, really create the first scholarship fund in Marin County that had ever existed. When I first met Judy, uh, it was probably in the early 70s. She was this beautiful, gracious young woman who became a community uh, activist and advocate. I know that, that, that all of that was driven by her first being a teacher. She was on the board, the original board of Marin Education Fund, now called 10,000 Degrees. Not only was she a founder, but um, a major contributor for all of that time. There isn't anyone else that, that has done the same thing. Uh, she's head and shoulders above all of us. She was committed to kids, and especially kids who were underserved. She has never faltered in her commitment to the ideals that education can change the direction of students' lives. I met her by when I started on the board, my first nonprofit board, it was Marin Education Fund and we both share the passion for education and I would add not only high quality education but for those people who are unprivileged and that's where the equity comes into the story. She's encouraged change, she's followed the change and she's been a steward all the way through, 42 years plus. She started this organization and this movement to put kids into and through college. She was the one that had the vision, and not only the vision, but then the actual capacity to round up folks to buy into her vision and to really fully successfully create what is now 10,000 Degrees. She was very soft-spoken, and yet she was a real mover and shaker in the world of education and funding and equity early on, way before most people were thinking about making sure every student succeeds. She was the head of the um, search committee for a new executive director, she had the foresight to um, hire Kim Mizuka, and um, just, you know, said 10,000 degrees soaring. As I look back over what she says about all the things that she's done, I think she's proudest of that decision because leadership does matter, and Judy understands that. My impression of Judy on that very first day was that I knew that I thought I wanted to work with and for her because she had an incredible vision that she expressed during my interview. How many thousands of kids have gotten college degrees and are now successful adults raising families and the next generation, their students, my students, are gonna be so much better off because of what Judy has created here in Marin and now in the greater Bay Area. It's because of Judy's vision, her leadership, and her courage is why we are here today. Judy, my dear friend, uh, I am filled with gratitude for you. Congratulations to you for this well-deserved honor. Thank you, Judy, so much for all you have given to this organization, your major contribution. Thank you, Judy, for being a part of my life and the lives of so many. Thank you for all you do for all of us. Thank you, Judy, for getting this thing started. I just personally want to thank you. Uh, it's an honor to know you and then to know so many of the alumni that you have helped and have created better futures for. You deserve this and it's an opportunity for all of us to say thank you to you uh, for your vision, for your leadership, for your commitment. Tonight we celebrate you and your vision 
and all that you have done to create this impact, impacting thousands of students, their lives, their families' lives, and changing our community for the better. She's done a lot of things, she's been involved with a lot of people, a lot of activities, but she keeps coming back to what has turned out to be called 10,000 degrees. 